Hi guys and welcome to my second vlog. Pretty much um, Christmas is in 27 days and uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm joining the festive fun and I brought a very Christmassy shirt. I really do love Christmas, it's actually awesome. One of the best things about Christmas is actually the TV gets um, good. You actually have things on the screen you actually want to watch. Lots of bollocks like um, 127 hours. <laughs> It was just a man stuck in a hole or a brick thing and it was just crap. The movie industry pays a lot of money for their films to go on to the channels like BBC because they know that a lot of people are going to probably be sitting around with their family and watching it. That means you actually get good TV. You don't get the bollocks like 127 hours. But there are some movies that um, are good but they really really annoying. me. I won't name any films in particular because, um, yeah, I'll probably get sued by YouTube or something, I don't know. But I thought that if they spent so much money on making such an awesome film and the storyline's actually brilliant, it's something I actually want to watch, then they wouldn't ruin it with the smallest things over and over and over again. He made a list of things that annoy me in movies that um, just don't happen in real life. I'm sure you guys could think of more. Right, uh, let's uh, start this thing off. First one I really do hate is uh, how when girls in movies they go, ah oh, yeah, call me to like a nerdy boy and uh, the nerdy boys just magically meant to have her number. You never see anyone go to the toilet. It's like they have a bladder of steel or something like that, I don't know. Like I've never seen Die Hard. Um, take a break to go to toilet or Rocky Bow Power to stop in the middle of a fight and go for a crap. You just don't see it. And when people are getting chased in the wood, um, they always seem to fall over. It also annoys me when people are like at school in American programs, they're like, party at Lucas's house, and everyone's meant to know where Lucas lives. No? And there could be thousands of Lucases in that school. Restaurant scenes are always the worst. I mean, like when someone goes up to the lady and orders a uh, coffee, and uh, they get their coffee and they pay for it. Well, sometimes they actually forget to pay for it, but I'm not even going to go there. They get their coffee and they um, put it on the side, and you can blatantly tell it's empty because it makes that echoey sound. And how like musical films, they um, randomly walk through the street and they all start dancing and they all start singing. They all know the same words. I hate when like someone's driving a car and they've got their passenger beside them and they're just driving away like this. They're not even looking where they're driving, they're just talking to their mate. People should be dead if you do that in real life. But that's like the restaurant scene where um, they get out of the taxi or something and they just walk off for a free taxi trip and they don't pay for it. And when like in an action film someone jumps through a window with, like when they're fighting and crap. Um, they never seem to get cuts or have like cuts on their face and blurred or anything. If I fell through a window I think my face would be mangled. Which I'm quite jealous of movies because the um, uh, fact that every time they wake up in the morning the girl has perfect makeup on and perfect hair even though she's just been asleep and she should look like a mess. And how when people are getting chased they always seem to run down the dark alley. I think that's probably the last place I'll be running. And, that the good guy always has a, like, a pro shot with their gun and they always hit it. But the bad guy always seems to have the aim of a blind 80 year old man. Be unfair. And how in classically in horror movies they hear a bang downstairs so they shout out hello and um, yeah they expect the robber to reply like yeah I'm in the kitchen um, making a sandwich do you want one? No. When in romantic films, couples are kissing in the rain, and um, well, in real life, if that happened, um, that girl's mascara would all be in uh, your mouth. And then how in those weird girly sleepover film crap things, where um, four girls are all sitting on the phone talking to each other, and the four-way conversation, I've never been able to actually figure out how to do that. That was just a couple of things I've noticed about movies, it's probably nothing, but uh, it's always catching my eye. And um, uh, that's it for this week, uh, I'll see you next week. Um, make sure to subscribe, like and comment and all that crap. Uh, yeah, see ya.
much the 